never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking But you show me life is full of faces Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places But we were young and unaware Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing payment on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you aren't as big. Dream her hair is just fat so she doesn't count. But um Dory she hasn't eaten as much you can tell. Uh honey has definitely not eaten as much. She's still fat but you can tell that she's not as like she's not like puddles here who has obviously eaten well today. Um pickles is also fat. Starla's fat so they don't count. The fat ones don't count because they always look they always look like they've eaten all day. So Sally Pickles, not trying to insult you or anything. Miss Pickles eats very well. If she isn't eating hay, she's, you know, drinking off honey. As y'all can tell. Hi, Pickles. What a chunky girl. Look at that double chin. She has like her mama. Honey. You're quite, you, can, you can tell that she has a very nice double chin. Uh, so, um, I've been gone all day. Um, other than in the morning, of course. Hey, Ray Ray. Um, so I gotta check on their water. It's way one. Of, it's one of the hottest days so far. Luckily, it's not been an outside day for me. Check on how warm. Mm -hmm. There's chicken feathers. Ew. This was really oof. It's warm, not dead. Probably wondering why we have a black tub. Oh, this is hot. I'm gonna refill this. This is their electrolyte bucket. I don't usually get electrolytes, but at the moment, they're getting electrolytes because it's so hot. <laughs> so, go dump this out, get these two refilled, and uh, get these ladies some, get these ladies some fresh water. What do you girls think? Fresh water? <laughs> Olive, stop complaining. Olive likes to protest about things. Coming down and checking the bucks because it's so insanely hot. Their water definitely needs changed. I'd say Miss Stormy here has been getting into it. Even though she has a nice pool. 
which yes that was cleaned out completely and empty two days ago so yeah it just gets really gross but this definitely needs cleaned i'm glad i came to check hopefully y'all don't mind this really nicely put together gate <laughs> hey but it's a hundred times easier than the pallets if you guys are ever thinking about putting pallet gates on just just don't like honestly uh unless you have really nice posts and some hinges to attach them to just go with a nice gate <laughs> Just go with a gate, because I'm telling you, they'll just save you so much time and effort. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a hug. Hi, Stormy. Hello, are you dirty? Wow. Well, hello. I see, you like me? Mm-hmm. So please get down. Thank you. Okay, dump out this nasty water that was completely cleaned out and replaced just a couple days ago. By the way, these boys some fresh water. Let's just mention how nicely Hatch has matured. Even River, like River looks amazing now. This is a new buck I brought in earlier this year. His name is Romeo um, and his registered name is Bigo and King of, uh, IH King of Hearts. And he has some amazing genetics. He'll actually be one of our herd sires for this fall. Um, but he's going through his awkward scraggly teenager phase. Um, so um, yeah, he looks pretty bad right now, but I think he's gonna grow up to be a very handsome boy. He's, uh, I brought him to a show earlier this fall, I mean, spring, and he won junior champion. So against even the senior bucks, like, uh, what am I trying to say? The junior, the older juniors is what I should say. So not against the seniors, but against older juniors. <laughs> so really proud of this little dude, even though he's a little scraggly looking. Now we're gonna do something called squirt the dog, help cool her off, even though she hates it. Then we're gonna, Fill up this water. Oh. It'll go. There we go. Let that overflow for a couple seconds and clean out nicely. And uh, about once a week, we'll come down and uh, get it nice and cleaned out um, because it literally grows that in a couple days. So it's very annoying, but you know, just part of owning goats. And while that is filling, I will refill their minerals. Um, I'll do a whole feed video soon if you guys want to see what I give the goats. And I know so many breeders don't like this mineral, but I found that the lower copper mineral works super well for my boys. And I think they could show it. I mean, River has never been shaved. That's River. He looks, he's very healthy. Shredney got a, like, half a copper bolus earlier this year. Um, but that was when they were actually on a higher copper mineral. So, I don't know what went on with that. So, just refilling this, see how that works. But I'm really happy with the results from this mineral, specifically. So, I guess we shall just continue to use it and see where it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna finally show you guys the new buckling. I actually got like multiple new goats, but I'm just gonna show you one today. Um, just cause this video is gonna be really long if I don't, if I don't uh, end it soon. Okay, so coming into this little kennel area so that he I don't have the other ones bother me the entire time. Hey buddy! So I showed you guys um me bottle feeding him earlier. Um but this little guy is one of the most exciting additions I have ever had um here on the farm. So time for a good introduction. Okay guys, here he is. I showed you guys um, him getting bottle fed at the beginning of the video. He's he's a very active little dude. But this is Winning Streak CM Astro Pop. Uh, if you guys are go people, you most likely know what Winning Streak is, um, like what herd it is. They are one of the most insane herds I've ever seen. Um, and I've, I follow a lot of herds. Like I'm always looking for a new uh, herd to buy from or put a reservation in from. And so I've been watching Winning Streak all year. I've been wanting to see if they would be a place that I want to get a buck from. Obviously they are as I'm holding him in my hands, but 
pretty much winning streak is breeding a new standard of nigerian dwarf in my opinion that's what their goal is their goal is to always better the breed of course <laughs> he's very annoying um but um old mountain is a herd i typically uh try to base my goats off of even though their reservations have been closed for years uh and it's not it's extremely hard to get a full old mountain goat with her name and everything but i saw winning streak and i honestly think winning streak might be close to better than old mountain uh and they've only been breeding 10 years so um like goats 10 years maybe a little longer um but when it, old mountain's been breeding for 40 so uh winning streak is I'm just so impressed with their animals and what they've done in such a short amount of time compared to Old Mountain. Old Mountain has very nice animals as well, don't get me wrong, but just compared, Winning Streak has way less time breeding goats than Old Mountain, and it's just so impressive where they've gotten in that short amount of time compared to them. Um, so, I messaged Winning Streak in May, and I asked um, if they had anything available for next year, because I was going to get on the reservation list for next year, since I had already gotten quite a few bucks this year. And she was like, are you looking for one now? And I was like, I mean, I'm always looking for a goat, let's just be real. And so they said they should have some out of their best does, and I was like, right now? Available now? Let's just not forget, let's not forget to mention that people wait for years to be, to get, um goats out of some of these does from winning streak he is such a biter guys it's so annoying that's bottle babies for you so i obviously i checked out all the does and there was one does in specific that really just caught my eye like instantly i pretty much knew that was going to be the one i got one from and it was um sdg pop tarts lollipop kind of a weird name but you know um lollipop it's just amazing she's deep She's very dairy, and she's not only that, she's also a grand champion, finished champion, and she linear praised at 90. Now, finished champion has never been my goal because judges can have way different opinions. Like, one judge could think it goes amazing, you can place last in the next round after that. So, I've never really based my choices off of if they're a champion or not, but since it, she was a grand champion, plus she had won in tons of rings which means that she consistently was loved by judges and she linear appraised at 90 which i always look for linear appraisals because that's based off the scorecard so it's much more accurate and not based on opinions um when i saw she appraised at 90 uh i was like i'm sold and then i figured out who his sire was i looked it up his sire's woodbridge farm count on me now if you guys know count on me he is winning streaks like main man like he is um he's amazing he has his plus b which means he has three daughters from three different moms that have their milk star uh he has four 92 appraising daughters so they linear appraise at 92 um which is very high he's also a finished champion and he appraised 88 which for a buck is very good okay astro decide he does not want to be held anymore so Okay guys, so you know, he's being a jerk and this thing fell off uh, the hay feeder it was on. So, um, man, he's being a little buck. <laughs> little jerk face. Um, so his, so his sire's dam is Woodbridge Farm Counten, or Counten Blessings. It's kind of a weird name as well. But she Linnea praised at 92 and she also, bro, he's being annoying again. And he, she also has her milk star, and she's a grand champion, finished champion. So, just stacked with finished champions in his pedigree. High linear appraisal scores, milk stars, just like everything you want in a go. Um, so, he is, I've got high expectations for him. I mean, I'm going to be using him heavily next year. He was born in May, so don't know if he will get big enough to read too many this year, but I'm really hoping he can... Uh, he can sire some of my best does at least. I love him to be the uh, to breed Whirly Persia, which I haven't showed y'all Persia yet. Uh, she's another new doe I got, um, and I would really love if he could breed Dreamer, um, which is another new doe, and that would actually be a really like a nice light line breeding on Counted Blessings, which is like I said his sire's dam. So 
that could make some amazing kids. So we shall see. Stop biting me. He will not stop biting me. But anyways, so very excited about Mr. Winning Streak boy aka astro so yes this little sassy boy is astro that is his barn name um and if you're wondering why i named him astro pop it's because um his dam is lollipop and he had it was a candy theme that's the dam's name it's like a whole candy theme for all her kids so yeah candy theme i didn't want to do a candy theme but you kind of have to do with the breeder once when it comes to naming them so i thought astro pop was the cutest and i could name him astro and that's not a candy so yeah guys that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it's very chaotic but i was wanting to get you guys a video and this is what's gonna happen so yeah um hopefully you guys enjoyed looking at this cutie pie and all the other goats and i'm gonna try to get back to posting more free or more frequently it's just been a crazy kidding season and then you know milking season show season everything season so yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video <laughs>